Pay attention, Brian. Check these out. These Pilex piles that we drive in. Um, I know I know you might be familiar with them. They sell them at uh, you know Home Depot, Lowe's, those kind of hardware stores. And they recommend we wind them in with a two by four. This is a light duty pile. It's very similar to the big piles that you see us put in for larger structures, but these are great for low level decks, stair landing. These actually hold 5,500 pounds a piece. So it's pretty crazy. And how we build them, how we put them in, these particular piles go 50 inches deep to ensure they're below the frost line. But I put them in with this one inch Milwaukee instead of winding it in with a two by four. So this has a few different speeds on it. For those who don't know, I put it on speed one to get started to take it easy. Now we're putting piles this close to the house because we're putting a beam very close to the house so we can avoid having the ledger take the load. You'll notice when you get close to the house is this, the earth is much softer because it's been disturbed to build the basement. So you find you're gonna have to go a lot deeper to get the amount of torque that you want to make sure that it's good. Once it's stable, we turn it, I just turn it all the way up to a four, which just goes from one to four, and then I just send it home. And as you can see, we're getting close to the end and it's still going in like butter. So one thing that Pilex does is they offer these extensions, two foot extensions. Put one on there. Without having to go get a vice grip. So the issue is also, because I'm using a Milwaukee, we sort of round this out. Makes it a little bit harder to get the extension on, but we'll get it on. There we go. Now, we just sink this extension all the way down until it seats. Let me drive this, see how deep we can go with this one. Still goes easy, so we'll throw another extender on it to be on the safe side. I feel like at this point it would be fine, but you know what? It's still going in a little bit easy. Seat that on there. So now this is a total of eight feet it's gonna be under the ground. So now we got this thing eight feet deep. I think it's safe to say that the uh, small amount of load from a low level deck will be fine. You put your saddle on, you can either put a post on the saddle or you can rest your beam right on the saddle. That's the way we're going to do it because we're trying to keep a super low profile. But uh, that's a really quick and easy way to do something that normally would be very frustrating, especially this time of year uh, with concrete or with the larger piles, with the big tractors that got to come in and unnecessarily for such a small load. That's the way we do it.